how to prevent to get legal letters for copyright infringements from your internet service provider. Maybe you already got one and maybe you just want to protect yourself. There are all kind of legal letters going out for copyright infringements depending on what you're doing online. And let me just shortly explain why this happens. So maybe you go to the internet, maybe you even use the browser private or incognito window which only means that the browser itself is not saving any data. So what happens if you go to the internet? Your internet service provider connects you to the internet and of course can see everything you're doing and saves all kind of data and they have filters so they can see everything you're doing. Nothing is private. And also all kind of hackers and secret service agencies can see what you're doing and even web other websites can see what you're doing and or th they can see that you visited them and they will spam you with ads called retargeting basically you're completely naked online so everything you do any kind of website you visit your most favorite videos or content your isp knows and everyone basically can know on the internet so everyone can see where you are, everyone can see what you do, your ISP can uh, spy on you, your government can spy on you and block websites if they want to or send you legal letters. There are also many websites that use geo-blocking on you because you're not in the country where it's legal for them to show the content, for example, like US Netflix or uh, US TV stations. Even if you're using torrents, like your ISP might tr throttle your torrenting and of course you might get legal letters for copyright infringements. Let me just show you my current IP. So currently I'm in the UK and there are all kinds of websites or any website basically can see your IP. So they can see exactly where you are. The solution is a virtual private network which makes the internet really private for you which is a combination of a software plus servers in many different countries. Then you're basically tunneling through the internet instead of being openly visible. To be more precise, the software will encrypt all your data, all your internet use with military grade encryption. And this is an image, if you notice, from the Enigma, the German Enigma encoding machine from the Second World War. Of course, nowadays the encryption is much better and good VPNs use the latest encryption technology to ensure your privacy. So your internet service provider will still connect you to the internet or to the server of the virtual private network provider, but they will only see random numbers or like jumbled data. So they cannot make like they cannot see what exactly you're doing, where you, where exactly you're going on the internet. So they will not be able to send you any legal letters anymore because they just cannot see what you're doing. Your virtual private network service or the server of your VPN will connect you in the location you want to, to the internet. And they don't save any data. Usually they're situated the companies themselves are situated in some kind of offshore countries which do not have to save any kind of data, so they don't. And then you will be completely safe, encrypted and anonymous on the internet. No matter what you're doing, you cannot get a legal letter because no one can see what you're doing. So no one will be able to see where you are. You really are. No one can see what you do. You can unblock websites, you can bypass geo filters on websites and there will be no throttling for your torrenting if you want to do that. But high speed encrypted internet costs a little bit and usually you get what you pay for. So well you can try to find a free VPN and see if it works for you and um, well what will happen with your computer but um, I would suggest to get good quality. Let me show you. I'm using ExpressVPN at the moment and I'm logged into the UK. Now I'm disconnecting 
and selecting a different country. Here I have the location picker so I can choose different locations all around the world. Canada, let's connect to Toronto right now. So now we're connected to Toronto and let me reload this website. And as you can see, I'm entering the internet in Toronto right now. My IP address has changed. And also, by the way, since I'm using ExpressVPN and they have military grade encryption, no one can actually see what I'm doing. So my internet service provider cannot see that I'm currently visiting the ExpressVPN website, watching the advantages of a VPN. And by the way, they have software for all, all devices. So depending on if you want to use it on your phone, on your desktop, whatever, you can do this. And I will publish a list of good VPNs below the video. Just click on show more here. Or if you're using a mobile device, you can click on the arrow down below the video on the right. And I will try to keep this up to date. So you can check it out. And I hope soon you can avoid all those legal letters.